Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to another look at the Kuhn DLC. In this video, we're looking at the combination of cedar, cultivator, and plow, along with the extra storage tank up front. That's what we're looking at today. So here's what the look parts look like in the shop. Uh, if I go into categories and Kuhn, here are the parts for this particular thing. So you have the Kuhn TF1500, which is a basically, it contains seed, and basically it can hold any of the seeds, 1500 liters. You also have the cedar itself, which needs 100 horsepower. This one does not have a horsepower requirement. Uh, you can seed wheat, barley, canola, soybeans, uh, oilseed radish, and grass with it. And you can only take seed in it, does not take fertilizer at all. Also, you notice that there's no capacity here because you can't fill this cedar up by itself. You need to have this in order to have any seed at all. And the other implement is over here where is it here now uh, here it is uh, this is the cultivator uh, it cultivates and prepares fields for the next sowing four meters 15 kph eighteen thousand dollars for that need a hundred horsepower for that deep subsoiler a subsoiler prepares the field for the next sowing it can be used instead of a plow so that is that ten thousand dollars for that 130 horsepower this requires a hundred and it's four meters as well this is a working width of 12 meters so you can use these individually if you want as well but they also work together as you can see there so working with 15 kph and this is also four meters so basically this is a four meter plow cultivator and cedar let's go ahead and see how it all works together so if I select the front implement all you can do is close the cover open the cover like so that's it and raise and lower it that's all it does. If I go back to the plow, it just says raise or lower the plow. If you're going to use this setup, you do need a fairly, a fairly powerful tractor, so keep that in mind as well. So something to do with that subsoiler. If I select the harrow here, or this this uh, cultivator they're calling it, I think it's would really be a power harrow in reality, if memory serves. So that's turned on. You have to press that on, so that's B to turn it on. And then you have ridge markers here. If so you wish to use ridge markers, you can set those down as well. And last but not least, the sower. And you can turn on the sower by pressing B and then lower it. And then if we want to lower this whole combination, so let's go over to our seed selection. So we have it set up to, we have it set up to wheat right now. There we go. So you can switch through those. So let's turn that back on and let's lower that whole system down. Let's see how this works out together. So the first one should plow. Second one should cultivate. Third one should seed. So we should see some nice seeding action going on there. So if I look in my information now, if I go into here and I look at field 21 here, I should see that wheat is just starting to sprout there. So let's go ahead and do that a little bit more. And if I take a look again at 21, yep, you can see a little tiny bit of yellow right there. Um, that indicates it is, in fact, wheat. Also, you notice that you can hire a worker up here, which is kind of neat as well. So if you don't want to do all this yourself, you can hire a worker. Let's go ahead and see if that works as well as we want it to. There we go. Looks like it's working fairly well. So this is the plow, like I said before. That's the cultivator, and then that is the cedar. Pretty neat. One thing to note that is if you were going to use three stages of fertilization, basically you can only put one at the end right here, and then you could put one when it's fully grown. It depends on how many stages you have it set up to with various mods and whatnot. But basically, if you have it set up so it's a three stage fertilization system, this may not be the most efficient use of your time because you will need to apply it now right after as well as when it's grown one stage and then another time when it's at a second stage so there you go that is the cultivator cedar plow combination that is a fairly efficient form of working the ground so if we go over here real quick we can see that it does not in fact need plowing let's go ahead and just check this so periodic plowing required on and then if we go back to this you can see that it is fertilized all together and that's because I have fertilizing states on as one and if I were to go back once again oops you could see that it's plowed but now it only has one stage of fertilization so 
from the looks of it. So there you go, that's the system. Hope you enjoyed that look at that. If you're curious about other things, take a look in the top right hand corner for the merger and also the bailers. My name is Ian Robson. If you enjoyed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Coon DLC action. Catch you guys later.